In this video I'm going to explain the science behind how people make decisions. It's not what you think and it's way more complicated than that. This might be the most important video so far so let's begin. What do you do when your best friend asks you to go to the cinema but you want to stay at home and play video games or read books or what to eat when you're in a new restaurant? We might not know how to make decisions but we make them all the time. People have to make choices about big topics such as relationships, education and work almost at every stage of their life. The average adult makes more than 35,000 decisions per day. Some of them are very simple like what to wear but others are way harder such as what to study. In this video we will explore some different theories on how people make decisions so that the next time you find yourself in a difficult situation with a lot of different outcomes you know what to do. So let's begin. Decision making is a complex process of how people make decisions in different situations. In some situations you have only one chance to make a decision and you cannot reverse it. Whereas sometimes you have more options and you have enough time to take a look at them and decide which one is the best. Decisions also can be short term and long term. Short term decisions are made in the moment and they do not affect your future self. For example, choosing what to eat. You can eat a healthy apple or a healthy chocolate bar. Long term decisions are made with the idea to affect your future self. For example, what to study, where to work, or would you like to keep healthy diet or eat junk food all the time. Mental shortcuts heuristics. The first theory of how people make decisions is based on that they make fast decisions using shortcuts in their mind. These shortcuts are called heuristics. These mental shortcuts are based on pattern and truths that people figured out throughout his life, experience and researches. For example, when you are in a new restaurant and you don't have a lot of time. Maybe you are on a lunch break and you decide to eat something safe that you like. The same principle applies when you're on a date. Most of the time you choose the safe and easy to consume option. What's the version and prospect theory finding the break even point? A second theory of how people make decisions is based on how they understand and view risk. What's the version mean that people feel the pain of losing something more than the happiness of gaining something. Essentially Essentially, this theory says that people make decisions based on their break-even. Nobody likes to lose, especially when they lose money. The fear of realizing a loss can cripple an investor, prompting them to hold on to losing investment long after it should have been sold or to offload a winning stock too soon. Rookies often make this mistake when they hope the stock will bounce back to its previous levels against all data and facts. Because losses lead to way more extreme emotional power rather than winnings. A third theory of how people make decisions is a cognitive dissonance. The theory suggests that people rationalize and justify their decision even against any logical sense. Cognitive dissonance happens when a person's belief don't match with their actions. Like when you're torn between two really good opportunities. You may think that you made the right choice and you change your beliefs to match that. Furthermore, you talk yourself into believing that you made the right choice. Let's say you're trying to decide between two equally good job opportunities. After you made your choice, you may talk yourself into believing that your choice was right because the job will be way more exciting and way more interesting, even if you don't have the logical facts to back this up. You may also realize that you have cognitive dissonance when you catch yourself rethinking the same decisions over and over again. Bottom up processing and top down processing. A fourth theory of how people make decisions is that they rely on bottom up processing or top down processing. Bottom Bottom up processing is when people make decisions based on the data they have. Top down processing is when people make decisions based on its personal beliefs, experience and hopes for the future. When you're thinking about how to make a decision, you might decide to look at the facts of the situation you're in, like the costs and the benefits of the different options. Alternatively, you might think about your past, your plans for the future and your best hopes that your decision will lead you to this. Decision making is complicated. Luckily, there are a lot of different types of decision making theories and you can use them every day. In this video, we talked about different types of decision making and how to use it in your life. If you learned something new, feel free to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.